We are on to the fourth lecture in the lecture series entitled Bracket Algebra. The essentials of the previous lecture 3 are as follows. Since row matrix and column matrix cannot be added, they are not in the same footing and so we need separate space to describe them. Ket is a column matrix that belongs to what we call ket vector space. Bra is a row matrix that belongs to what we call bra vector space. As ket dagger is bra and bra dagger is ket, it follows that ket vector space and bra vector space are dual spaces. They are Hermitian conjugates of each other. We next discuss inner product, also called overlap. We shall explore the product of bra with a ket and try to generate a number or scalar from a bra and a ket. Consider bra which is a row matrix say bra A equal to row A1, A2 and a ket which is a column matrix say ket B equal to column B1, B2. We know that we can multiply a row matrix with a column matrix to generate a number. Consider product of bra with a ket. First write the bra and then write the ket. Squeeze the two inner vertical bars into one and this is how we write bra a ket b called inner product or overlap. So it is the product of row a1 a2 column b1 b2. This generates a1 b1 plus a2 b2 which is a number or scalar in general complex. Let us address the question namely consider ket A to be the column matrix A1, A2, ket B to be the column matrix B1, B2. Number 1 find the inner product bra A ket B. Number 2 find the inner product bra B ket A. Number 3 are they equal? Number 4 interrelate the inner products bra A ket B and bra B ket A. We come to the answer now. Ket A is a column matrix A1, A2. Then bra A is a row matrix A1 star, A2 star. Ket B is a column matrix B1, B2. Then bra B is a row matrix B1 star, B2 star. Answer to 1. Consider inner product bra A ket B which is row matrix A1 star, A2 star multiplied by column matrix B1, B2 which is equal to A1 star B1 plus A2 star B2. Answer to 2. Consider inner product bra B ket A which is row matrix B1 star B2 star multiplied by column matrix A1, A2 which is equal to B1 star A1 plus B2 star A2 which can be rewritten as A1 B1 star plus A2 B2 star. Now answer to 3. Inner product bra A ket B is equal to A1 star B1 plus A2 star B2. Inner product bra B ket A is equal to A1 B1 star plus A2 B2 star not equal to the inner product bra A ket B. This means that inner product is not commutative in general. Now answer to 4. Consider inner product bra A ket B which is A1 star B1 plus A2 star B2. Then inner product bra A ket B dagger is equal to A1 B1 star plus A2 B2 star which is same as bra B ket A. If we consider inner product bra B ket A equal to A1 B1 star plus A2 B2 star then inner product bra B ket A dagger is a1 star B1 plus A2 star B2 and we see that this is equal to bra A ket B. Hence the interrelation is inner product bra A ket B is inner product bra B ket A dagger and inner product bra B ket A is equal to inner product bra A ket B dagger. Next question. Find inner product of ket A with corresponding bra. Answer is as follows. Let ket A be the 2 cross 1 column matrix A1, A2. Bra A will then be the row matrix A1 star, A2 star. Then inner product bra A ket A is mod A1 square plus mod A2 square which is a number. Let ket A be the 3 cross 1 column matrix A1, A2, A3. 
then bra A is the row matrix A1 star, A2 star, A3 star. Then inner product of ket A bra A is mod A1 square plus mod A2 square plus mod A3 square which is a number. Let us now discuss norm or length of a ket that is denoted by the symbol A between two double vertical bars. Definition Norm or length of a ket is equal to under root the inner product bra A ket A. It is equal to under root mod A1 square plus mod A2 square. If ket A is a 2 cross 1 column matrix, and is equal to under root mod a1 square plus mod a2 square plus mod a3 square. If ket a is a 3 cross 1 column matrix a1, a2, a3. We next evaluate the length or norm of a ket a and alpha into ket a. Where alpha is a complex number in general. So the norm of ket A is under root the inner product to bra A ket A that is under root mod A1 square plus mod A2 square if ket A is the color matrix A1 A2. Now let alpha ket A be denoted by ket B then bra B is alpha star bra A. So norm of ket B after going through these steps turns out to be alpha times the norm of ket A. We thus note that alpha ket A and ket A differ in length or magnitude. Alpha ket A and ket A have same direction. Kets are identified by their direction only. In other words, direction of ket is the only important property they have. Length of ket is not important. So in the relation ket B equal to alpha times ket A the alpha has no extra significance and thus it is customary to ignore alpha. Ket A and alpha ket A are same kets. They carry the same information. Let us give an analogy. Consider x axis. This is the direction of increase of x denoted by i hat. So x axis is defined by i hat. Clearly i hat and 3 times i hat both will represent x axis. But it is customary to deal with i hat. This 3 has no extra significance and can be ignored. In quantum mechanics we speak of state which is a reservoir of all information that a particle can carry. Information means particle position, particle momentum, particle angular momentum etc. And state is represented by a ket vector. We call it state vector as a standard practice in quantum mechanics. So ket A is a state vector and we can compare it with the vector A. This is x axis denoted by the basis unit vector x cap and this is y axis denoted by the basis unit vector y cap. Suppose this is the vector A and it is a 2D vector space. An alternate way to describe vector A is through its projection x cap dot vector A which is A suffix x which is projection of vector A along basis unit vector x cap. The vector A and its projection A x carry the same information. Similarly, ket A is the state vector ket and ket x is the basis ket. x cap dot vector A is analogous to the inner product bra x ket A and is the projection of ket A along ket x and is defined as wave function and written as a function of x. A popular way to represent things is by using the psi symbol. Hence ket psi represents the state vector, ket x represents the position basis, then the inner product bra x ket psi represents the projection of ket psi along ket x and is defined as psi function of x and is called coordinate wave function. If instead of position we discuss in terms of momentum basis that is ket p then the inner product bra p ket psi will represent the projection of ket psi along ket p and this is defined as psi which is a function of p and is called momentum wave function. It is time to describe what is meant by integral representation of inner product. Consider two kets ket phi and ket psi. 
their inner product is bra phi ket psi and this is by definition represented by an integral which is integration from x equal to minus infinity to plus infinity the integrand being phi star of x into psi of x dx here we have bra phi and bra is ket dagger that is ket phi dagger this leads to phi star within the integrand so phi star is because in the left hand side we find bra phi using the inner product bra x ket phi written as phi of x and its dagger as phi dagger x that is phi star x and also bra x ket psi as psi of x let us consider the inner product bra phi ket psi which is integration from x equal to minus infinity to plus infinity phi star psi dx putting their expressions we get now taking out bra phi on the left and ket psi on the right and collecting the x factors in between we get this expression the left hand side of which is bra phi ket psi comparing both sides we see that this quantity involving integration over x has to be a unit operator so the relations are let's collect them we now do some problems if ket1 is 1 0 ket2 is 0 1 find these inner products the answer bra1 ket1 is 1 bra1 ket2 is 0 bra2 ket1 is 0 bra2 ket2 is 1 we can write the four relations in a compact form as follows the first two relations bra1 ket1 equal to 1 and bra2 ket2 equal to 1 can be written as bra i ket j with j equal to i and it is equal to the kronecker delta i i that is 1 and the other two relations namely bra1 ket2 equal to 0 and bra2 ket1 equal to 0 can be written as bra i ket j with j not equal to i which is equal to kronecker delta i j where j not equal to i In fact bra1 ket1 is kronecker delta 1 1 bra2 ket2 is kronecker delta 2 2 bra1 ket2 is kronecker delta 1 2 and bra2 ket1 is kronecker delta 2 1 Clearly we can punch the relations and write them in a compact notation as bra i ket j using kronecker delta i j Here i and j are dummy indices or run indices they do not take any fixed value but run over indices 1 and 2 next problem if ket1 is 1 0 0 ket2 is 0 1 0 ket3 is 0 0 1 find the inner product bra m ket n the answer here run indices are m and n taking values 1 2 and 3 we first evaluate the bra1 bra2 bra3 from the corresponding kets ket1 ket2 ket3 now the inner product bra m ket n is 1 for m equal to n and can be written using kronecker delta m m and for m not equal to n we have all the inner products zero so we can write bra m ket n to be equal to kronecker delta m n with m not equal to n combining we get the inner product bra m ket n to be kronecker delta m n let's end up the lecture posing the question what is orthonormalization hope to discuss it in the next lecture 5